it's a shit show. I mean, people can fudge their labs, they can put whatever they want on the bottle, and they can have nothing or way less than that in the bottle. The worst part is 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 the ingredients that are going into these things. They're finding a lot of um, a lot of people are doing like uh, just secret studies now, and they're publishing them online. They'll grab like ten random CBD products and test them, like mainstream ones. And, and uh, they test them for bacteria and, and pesticide and heavy metal. Everything that flour would get tested for. So um, it's like a home test? No, they take it to a lab. Ooh. Wait, so you can go to an actual laboratory to get it tested oh, yeah. on your own as, oh, yeah. as a could, regular civilian? You could walk in there if you want to and have a bottle test. It's going to probably cost you, well, in most circumstances, more than the bottle was. Yeah. Because it's 50 to $75 to test test those products. So every time we lab test ours, it's 50 to 75 bucks a, a bottle. But we more so like batch lab tests. So it's not like, I mean, everyone will go out of business if you tested every bottle. What's it's a impossible. batch lab test? Well, you know, our lab produces like large batches of our oil, but only when ordered. So our product is made to order. So it's not like it's just sitting on a shelf. Not that this stuff would go bad anyway, it wouldn't. But I mean, that's how fresh our shit is. It's coming straight from that fucking flower into mm-hmm. the bottle and you're getting it in like uh, two weeks, probably at the latest. And that's if, you know, they, you know, if, if, if I delivered it to a dispensary or a consumer bought it from a dispensary, you know, there's time elapses from production to and shipping to that so you know but Mm. fresh dude so um we lab test and we associate it with basically that particular batch it's hard to control the batch lab testing man because it's like you gotta you know it slows the lab down and every you know plant is different different strains that we use you know we just Mm -hmm. pump out the best quality that we can the most medically effective that we can because there's a huge demand for it dude you know, yeah, for so, sure. I mean, we do everything, you know, as close to perfect as we can, as close to, um, you know, just just being conducive to, to every aspect that you would want to, you know, experience results from from these products as you can. And there's some stuff it's it's minor stuff, you know, um, to to other people, probably. But it's, you know, major stuff to us. But you just can't get around certain things. You know what I mean? Like you can't you can't test you know you can't batch test every single thing even the large companies that say they're doing that they're not fucking doing that bro. it just costs way too much no there's it's just it can't it's it can't be as accurate as they claim for it to be because it's just it's not possible so like, what the, what happens exactly like so you batch test the whole thing but each bottle might have just a tiny bit difference basically. oh yeah yeah it could you know it depends on how good your chemist is at your lab you know but i mean there there's there's always the X factor if we're dealing with a plant. If it's if it's just CBD isolated, it's going to be more accurate. But a lot of people's CBD isolate is not 99% pure and above. It's like 90 to 95% purity. So it's not even as pure as it can be, which means it can have trace amounts of THC in it, which is bad if you're taking it and you don't want to lose your CDL because you have a zero tolerance for drug testing at your job. Mm-hmm. You know? No, so, when, you, when you say trace amounts, you mean like larger amounts of, C- of thc small amounts but noticeable via like uh, a, a right. Piss drug test. right because yeah. cbd is is advertised as uh you know it, it's a different uh chemical than thc where it, do, it won't show up on a, on a drug yeah, test yeah yeah it's and non-psychoactive you, and if you take well, it where it's more more than the amount that it's supposed to be it can show up in a drug test so yeah, there's there's always traces mm-hmm. in anything super small amount but, but yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be a certain yeah. amount yeah because it's percentage you said past like what when does it show up on the drug test? Does it have to be past a certain decimal point? Yeah, it depends. It depends. It depends on the state's threshold. Like the state of Nevada, most commonly is between 0.4 and 0.5 um, ppm. Um, and you know, so if you exceed 0.5, you fail. I took a drug test when I was taking CBD for the previous company I was working for, on purpose, not consuming any cannabis. It's just one of those times in my life where I wasn't consuming any cannabis. And um, and I went and drug tested myself because I was telling people at the workplace where I was working, my, my parents' towel company, who have CDLs and who are contractors that have contractors' licenses and shit that can be jeopardized. Right? I couldn't, I couldn't truthfully tell them one way or another if I didn't go test myself that it had zero percent THC because you can't trust labs. You know what I'm saying? So I went. I had THC in my system. It was like 0.25 or something like that. So out of that 0.5. And so I questioned that company about it and my friend and my friend, you know, knew, had told me, yeah, that has happened before. People have written in about that. That was just one of the shady things about the previous company, the CBD company I was working for before I started my own. So, um, you know, it, yeah, it's, it's crazy.